name is Julia and I work for Live Oak Public Library. Today we're going to be doing October's Origami, which is a Jack Lantern taken from Scary Origami by Jill Smolinski. This book is available for checkout. So for this one, you're going to want a Sharpie in addition to your origami paper. You're going to start by folding it vertically and then you will unfold and fold it horizontally. Then you will unfold again, turn it so it's a diamond, and you're going to fold it in half vertically this way. And then you will do it again horizontally. Once again, you're going to turn it so it's a square and fold top half down. And then you are going to fold it in half so you get a square. Then you're going to take this piece, pull it out, create a triangle. You're going to flip that over and do that on the other side as well. So you have a triangle. So from here, you're going to take each corner flap and fold it into the center. Like so. And then flip it over and do the same on the other side. Then you're going to take each flap again, each corner, and fold it to the center. Flip it over and do the same on the other side. So it looks like this. And you're going to take the two front flaps up here and fold them down. So they look like this. And then you will tuck them into the little opening here. So it looks like that. And again, you'll open that and place that in. So it does. And then you're going to turn it over and do the same on the other side. So you will fold these pieces down. And you will flip that, fit them into the other flaps. So from here, you're going to fold this side over so you have the plain side. We'll turn it over and do the same to the other side. So now we're going to draw our jack-o'-lantern face. You can do one on each side if you'd like. And then the hole that you have down here in the bottom, you are actually going to blow air into. And once you've blown air to it and got it into shape, you have your jack-o'-lantern. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please look out for more from Swanee River Regional Library in the future.